Wait, wait, not yet. Trick or treat. I've accepted your terms, which means we now have an implied contract. By accepting this treat, you are in effect promising to refrain from committing any tricks against me or this property now or in the future. Are there any questions? Yeah. Do you have any peanut chews? There's only what's in the bowl. Now, one per customer. All right? I have a rule, no one older than 14. Right. Only one per customer. Well, what are you doing? Only one per customer. Did you hear what I said? Only, no, no, only one per customer. Get hey! Get out of here! Hey! Hey! Hey, Bruce, are you okay? thing has been about. It's been spiked with tetrachloridrine. Is there a Neptune bar in here? Not anymore there isn't. Oh my god, Nelly, call 911. Oh my god. I thought it'd be funny. Tetrachloridrine? The guy down the street was trying to kill his wife. It's too late. Don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Just get up. Get up Adrian. now. Natalie, Adrian. help me. Adrian, tetrachloridrine is a synthetic insecticide. Natalie, help me! There is no antidote. I'll be dead in five minutes. Okay. Here's what happened. His name was Paul Gilstrap. He wanted to kill his wife. He worked at a laboratory where they made tetrachloridrine. Oh. And a few days ago, he stuck in there, and he stole some of it. Ambrose, I met his wife when I went trick-or-treating with Julie. And she said that she ate a Neptune bar every night before bed. Oh. Gilstrap poisoned her candy. But he couldn't poison just one. He wanted to make it look like there was a serial killer on the loose. So we had to poison a lot of other candy bars. Put them back into circulation. So his wife would just be another victim. That's right. It's a good plan. But he made a mistake. He got caught trying to put the poison back. Ruined everything. That's right. It ruined everything. Because now, if his wife or anyone else died from tetrachloridrine, They'd know it was him. So he was desperate. He had to get all of the poison candy bars out of circulation. He found them all, except for two. All right. The armored car driver had one. He had already taken a bite. If the driver had just dropped dead, Gilstrap knew there'd be an autopsy. So he had to think fast. He grabbed the driver's gun and shot him repeatedly. Who would bother looking for poison in a guy who'd been shot five times? But you left just one candy bar. The one I ate. That's right. He's been trying to get it back all night. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. 
will I do? Hey, who's in charge here? It's John.